Do you guys remember when makeup tutorials started off with an intro with music and just a little bit of this? We're bringing it back. <laughs> hey guys. Today we're doing an actual makeup tutorial. I don't know how much of a tutorial it's gonna be because you guys these days know how to do your makeup so freaking well. I see you in the photos that you tag me on on Instagram. Okay, so I'm gonna use this palette that has a bunch of foundation on the front of it. It's the Dream Palette by Sigma, Be and Sigma Beauty and Beauty Bird. I love this palette. I can go on vacation with this palette and I'm covered. If I wanna do a colorful look, I'm covered. An orangey gold look, I'm covered. If I wanna do a cranberry look, I'm covered. I love this palette. I don't know if they sell this anymore, but shoulda got it when you could have. I'm gonna be using the Morphe uh, concealer. Um, by the way, if you do want to buy any Morphe, I do have a code. It's just Kristen, you can use it in store and online. I do this whenever I want to use color or have a heavier eyeshadow look, just so that I don't have to be worried about it getting all over the base. So we're gonna be using the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. The amount of times that I've said this and I can't remember what it's called. I'm gonna lightly. Look at this cool like thing I've got all my brushes in. I can see all my lighting, everything, it's cool. I'm gonna be taking, between these ones, I'm gonna be creating a little dark lid look. Dude, I haven't put a dark shade on my eyelid since like the medieval times. put this up in my crease a little bit. I feel like it just makes it easier for the transition. This brush company, Royal and Langnickel, it's also Moda brushes. They're owned by the same, they're like the same company. I used to be on their PR list and I don't know what happened. Um, I love their brushes and they're so affordable. You can find them at like Walmart and stuff, but I like, I don't know what's up. Like brands aren't making brushes like they used to. Like I don't think I've gotten a brush PR package in like a century and a half. Do you guys have an, uh, like a side of your face or like an eye or an eyebrow that like just doesn't cooperate? It's this side of my face. I'm gonna take the same colors, focus them here to the outside and kind of just like blend upwards. I haven't used this, meth this method like in a long time. Can you tell what I'm about to do? <laughs> But there's so much tape in here, I felt compelled. So, gosh, I remember using tape in like every makeup look I ever did. For the teal liner, we're gonna be using Deep End by Urban Decay. Oh, <laughs> that's a problem. I am kind of just messily drawing my liner, keeping in mind that I'm going to smudge it out and doing a bit of a cat eye here, but I'm gonna let the eyeshadow do most of the work when it comes to the end. Once you have it on there, like so. Now, you can use like any color you want. It doesn't have to be teal. It could You could do this with like a purple or like a super shock shadow, um, but we're gonna be using this one. It's called Birdie. It's this really pretty matte teal. I'm gonna load that. This is a Morphe M. <coughs> Morphe M416 brush. And first I'm gonna lay it on top of the liner. Once that's covered, I'm going to wipe off what's on my brush and then I'm gonna start smudging it out a bit. You know what show I started uh, watching this morning? Okay, so Nick's super sweet. He literally, I might've got a little crazy with that side. Yeah, I did. We're gonna get crazy with this side then. Um, Nick moved my treadmill. This one actually might be higher. I don't know, we're gonna have to sort this out in a little bit when we take the tape off. Um, Nick took my treadmill and he moved it um, into the bedroom since we're remodeling right now and it's kind of a mess everywhere. 
Um, he moved into the bedroom so I could use it, and I didn't even ask him to do this, but he's just so sweet he did it anyway. He literally moved it. Oh, sorry, you were blurry the whole time. He moved it so that I can watch TV while I'm on the treadmill. My boobs are just not working with this shirt. And I started watching Ultimate Surfer, and so far, so good. That side looks really good. I have a feeling these are gonna be a little uneven, but it's okay. This is pretty even. This one's a little higher, but that's okay. Okay, now we're gonna do the base. I think this is gonna oxidize on me, so it's probably not gonna be the right color, but I'm gonna be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 16 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. First, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer for the pore areas. Damn, I like this cat eye. I wish I had a freaking date to go on tonight. That'd be cool. Nick uh, is a firefighter. He's my boyfriend, if you didn't know. And he's working a 96, bro. <sighs> all alone with the dogs and the animals, all by myself. Oh, this stuff smells so good. Um, Married at First Sight. I posted on my Instagram story about some of my favorite couples from there. I don't really know their names. I do remember Bao and Johnny because she just has a unique name um, that you don't hear every day. But um, I think they're my favorite couple. So I was reading my DMs and someone was like, yeah, it just like threw me off that she doesn't like shower very much. And I'm so right there with you when I had posted that I hadn't seen that. But honestly, that doesn't change the fact that I still really like them. I do think it's bizarre that you could work out and not take a shower after. I'm just using some of my foundation as concealer. I've been doing that lately. I mostly do it when I am like out of, um, or if I've poured out like too much foundation and it's just gonna go to waste, I'll use it like as concealer too. Gonna use the Hourglass, I don't know what my finger's doing. <laughs> the Hourglass Veil Foundation. Foundation, oh my gosh, am I freaking high? I mean powder, you guys know what I meant. We are back. Uh, my camera was like getting hot, so I just I took um, the uh, opportunity to put on my eyebrows. I'm putting on some lashes right now. These are the Ardell uh, Naked 421s, and they're like almost like 3D and wispy, but still super natural looking. I freaking love these. So John Party uh, is playing in San Diego around, um, I think it's like September 10th or September 11th. September 11th is actually um, my and Nick's anniversary or two year anniversary. So that'd be kind of cute if it was on that date. Um, but who in San Diego is going? If you're going, you see me. You should say hi. Speaking of Nick, he literally just texted me and said, he's got the most dad jokes you'll ever hear. Why can your hands only be 11 inches? And I was like, I didn't know they could only be 11 inches. And he said, well, if they were 12, they'd be a foot. And I said, you're dead to me. <laughs> so look how dumb he is. So stupid. Oh, I love him. I also um, wanted to tell you guys, if you haven't subscribed, then you probably should, but I just got all of the clothing for my Nashville haul, uh, or like my Nashville OOTD, and then in that video, I'm gonna include like some of my favorite spots in Nashville for food, drinks, like whatever. So keep an eye out for that video, turn on notifications. It will be coming very soon. I got so much stuff from Shein. You guys got me so like, stoked on that site. Like I bought so much stuff that was so cheap. Actually the shirt is from there. It doesn't fit my tits, but most of the other stuff fits. To finish off this makeup look, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of quick contouring with my Park Ave Princess Tarte um, palette that's actually no longer available for sale, I don't think. All this work, all this effort, and I have nowhere to go. I'm gonna go to the grocery store though. I've got a list of stuff. I made, um, have you guys ever been to Din Tai Fung? It is so good. 
anyways, they make these like really amazing cucumbers. And oh my gosh, if you've been there, have you had the green beans? Because those are so good. Um, but I made these cucumbers the other day. And if you follow my Instagram stories, you probably saw them on there. Dude, those cucumbers are so bomb. Like so good to like snack on and super, super healthy. I pretty much ate the whole bag and I need to probably quadruple the recipe because I was chomping down on those. Like I was a freaking rabbit, dude. They were so good. This is like my all time favorite highlighter. Ofra highlight, o Ofra, like the brand in general, they have some really, really nice highlighters. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my brow bone too. Um, they have such nice highlighters there too. Like I think I have a lot of my highlight from them packed though still. So I need to dig it out of some boxes, but I fucking love their highlight as well. This is the Morphe blush palette. Um, I've just been kind of using like a mixture of like this, this, and then I kind of just do that and call it a day. I took, um, my lip stuff out of my purse, which I wanted to use. I think this one's going to be a little darker than I want it to be, but, um, this is the Jaclyn, uh, chai tea lip liner. If my lips weren't super dry, I'd fill my lips in with this cause it just lasts longer, but I'm going to be using the morphe wifey matte lipstick i've been wearing this one a lot lately i just really like the color and it just feels really good on my lips it's like not too matte but not shiny i freaking hate shiny lipstick that's the end of this tutorial oh my gosh wait 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 i forgot i have to darken this stupid freckle that is very hard to cover with foundation <sighs> much better sometimes um if i meet people that i've never met in person before they're like hey you've got something on your face i'm like it's a freckle that I darken because my foundation never color covers it up fully. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the final look. I It felt fun to do a tutorial, but also weird. Let me know what you guys think. Do you want more tutorials? If you guys ever wanna see like a specific tutorial, you can message me a picture on Instagram. I try to check my DMs as much as possible. It's hard to get through, but I definitely have replied to probably a lot of you watching. So it is something I like to do. I have my little keyboard, my little wireless keyboard that I like to use to respond to you guys. So if you wanna see any specific makeup looks, feel free to message me on there and hopefully I will see your message. But um, I really like how this turned out. I'm kinda bummed I don't have earrings in right now. But yeah, I think this turned out really good. You could also do some lower lash line mascara if you wanted. I just have been liking personally not doing it. Not only does it not ever really transfer and the mascara that I use does transfer a little bit. Where is it? I love this mascara. It's the Huda Beauty um, Legit Lashes. Like this is like the little mini one. I love this mascara, but it does transfer a little bit. Um, so I've been liking it without that. I feel like it just makes it look a little cleaner and a little more natural, like as natural as this can look. Do you feel me? Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's like a little more like, I don't know. I feel like all the attention is up here where I want it to be when I don't do the lower lash line. But if I were to do it, I would do a nude colored pencil on my waterline and a little bit of mascara on the bottom. But I like how this looks. I like how it turned out. I'm super glad I have nowhere to go. I'm literally <laughs> going to be going to the grocery store <laughs> like this and no one will be able to appreciate it except for me. So anyways, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys and give this a thumbs up if you guys want to see more, more um, tutorials. Yeah. Bye.